Next on Street Smarts, who's potty trained? Traditionally, what are toilets made of? Wood. Where, where do you live, man? <laughs> you have an outhouse? Porcelain. Who's entertained? On what TV show would you hear the phrase, the tribe has spoken? Flintstones. And whose mess is contained? Pronounce this word. Vacuum? It's not vacuum, because vacuum has one U. Uh, vacuum. Street Smarts, think you've got them? Find out now. travel around the USA in a one-man convoy, trucking from town to town, finding good buddies to give me more answers than there are Smokies hitting on Route 66. Woo! Now I'll bring you here to our two and field contestants to try to guess whose answers put the pedal to the metal and whose answers clogged up their fuel fillers. You know what I'm saying, rubber duckies? All right, let's get our handles on today's contestants. Hello, Moni! but there's only one payoff on this show, so put the hammer down and go for broke, all right? All right, now. That's now, that's right. Three, our three brave brains on the screens. First up, Maurice turns on his human beatbox for us. So, Maurice, you're from San Diego. What do you do? Uh, I manage a record store in San Diego. Oh, that's cool. So, Maurice, uh, I, I know I don't, I don't want to put you out on national TV, but I hear you do a little beatbox. No, you didn't want to do it, but just give us a little, little taste of the 80s. Oh, back in the days, it was like... I can't do it. I'm so white, it's pathetic. <laughs> All right. Next, Esty tells us why we should vote for her for Student Activity Board. Yee hoo So, Esty, tell me about this, uh, this campaign you started in school, a little... Okay, Slogan. Well, it's gonna be my senior year, so I decided I want to run for ASB activities, which I do all homecoming and things, and we're trying to come up with like a fun slogan. So my name's SD, and my last name's Dector, so if you put them together, you get STD. So we tried to do something with that, because it was catchy, and everyone knows it, so we came up with a slogan to remember that not all STDs are bad. <laughs> STD has been my name ever since. So the school will be controlled by STDs. Exactly, there you go. <laughs> Jacob shows us what the rock is cooking. Jacob, where are you from? Santa Fe Springs. Santa Fe Springs? Where's that? California. Okay. What's the last book you read? The Rock. The Rock? Yes, The yeah. Rock. The Rock? Oh, there's a book about The Rock? Yes, indeed. Can you smell what he's cooking? Yes, I can. <laughs> can you smell la 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 What the rock? Yeah. It's cooking. <laughs> Good help with the eyebrow. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, let's switch off the trailer and weigh in to find out who knew it. I asked all three the same question, you see. You guys got to figure out who got it right. Lock in your choice of correct guess. Get you $100, huh? Yeah, man. yeah here we go. I'll right, take care of a speed ticket. First question I asked to Maurice, Esty, and Jacob. What TV twin sisters just started their own magazine? What do you think? Who knew it out there? Was it Maurice, Esty, or Jacob knew what TV twin sisters just started their own magazine? So lock it in, guys, as soon as you can. All right, you guys are both locked in. You both think Esty. Uh, Mark, you think she'll know this one? Guy can only hope. Guy can only hope. And Monique, you agree? She looks like the only one that watched that type of show. OK, let's see if it works. <laughs> what TV twin sisters just started their own magazine? Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, they, actually, they have their own magazine. Are you going to buy that? Probably not. I read the Stephanie books, but you know, I've moved on. To They're the like billionaires, movie. by the way, too. I'm on, I'm on a Sweet Valley High. Oh, you moved up? Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, you both got Esty. She got it right. Congratulations. That's $100 for you, both of you. And I think uh, we have, I, I have the same hair girl as the Olsen twins. That's true. <laughs> OK, all right, you know, just for fun, I want to see what Maurice said on that one. <laughs> what TV twin sisters just started their own magazine? The, the, the girls on Sisters. Oh. Tia, Tia and Tamara was it? Uh, yeah, the two. The, yeah, what was her? The, yeah, okay. Tia and Tamara, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I was. Sister, sister, yeah. It was sister, sister. sister. That's what I'm thinking. Mallory, I'm wrong, right? I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, the Mallory girls are right. Isn't that the last name, Mallory? All right, here's the next question I asked to all three. Including Earth, how many planets orbit the sun? So what do you think? Who knew this one? This is a, it's an old school one you should know, I think, right? So who knew it? Only one of them did, Maurice, Esty, or Jacob. And you guys are both locked in. You think Maurice is the one who knows, huh, Mark? Oh, I think Maurice can count to nine. OK. Oh, very good, Mark. Let's see. <laughs> Including Earth, how many planets orbit the sun? Uh, nine. It is nine. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> very good, Mark. Nice job. Now, Monique. 
think, uh, you think SD, no, I don't think she does, but let's see what she said. SD, including Earth, how many planets orbit the sun? Seven. Is it just seven? Maybe eight. Is it just I'm, eight? I'm guessing, I'm gonna say six. Nine. Can you add them together? <laughs> They're multiples? No, Please, no yeah. you can't yeah. upset. All right. Sorry, oh. everybody, I guess you didn't know, but just Terrible before we move on to the last question, Terrible I wanna break. see what Jacob said. <laughs> including Earth, how many planets orbit the sun? Two. Just two planets? I thought there was more than two. Okay, eight. I think there's more than eight. <laughs> ten. I think there's less than ten. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the doctor nine. All right. All right, you guys, uh, Monique, you got a hundred bucks. Mark's got two hundred bucks. Here's That's the last right. question of the round. According to the saying, the Royal Canadian Mounties always get their what? <laughs> so who knew the answer to that one? Was it Maurice, Esty, or Jacob? Could tell me the answer to that one. Mark's almost ready. And you're both locked in. You think Jacob knows this time, huh, Mark? I think he's like the county Mountie always gets his man. And okay, all right. He's all right. Brisket, so <laughs> Let's take a look, Mark. According to the saying, the Royal Canadian Mounties always get their what? Ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. Because, well, they're in their nice uniforms, but they don't want to get the ice cream on the uniform. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Mark. Uh, he didn't know that one. Now, Monique, you got a shot here with Maurice. You think he'll pull through? I think Maurice probably knows something like this. This uh, seems like a tough Let's guy. take a look, Mark. <laughs> According to the saying, the Royal Canadian Mounties always get their what? They get their man. That's right. There you go. And who's your favorite Royal Canadian Mountie? Uh, Remember the cartoon character, Dudley? Dudley... Dudley do right. Hello, yeah. Penelope. <laughs> That's right. a correct answer. Where they going, Monique? We're going to add $100 to your total. Nice job. And recapping, that gives you $200. Mark's also got $200. Uh, just like the Canadian Mounties always get their man, the correct answers always get their money when Street Smart's return. What beverage did a French monk named Dom Perignon invent? <laughs> Kool-Aid. <laughs> Welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's get the handles for our in-studio contestants. We have the lovely Monique here. She's from Ansonia, Connecticut, a former secretary. And you, you, you messed up your, your boss's job here. Tell me about this. Well, uh, as a former secretary, I was responsible for sending out a very important package of videos. Right. The client called, so they never received them. After a full investigation, we found the videos in my file cabinet, <laughs> which I wanted to crawl and hide, and right. my boss lost their job. Oh, good. So they're probably at home watching oh. right now, unemployed. Oh, very nice. All right. <laughs> and we have Mark from uh, Asbury Park, New Jersey, real estate investor. There we go. Now, uh, talk about your relationship with your uh, nephew there. Oh, I got some great nephews. Yeah. And I uh, take them everywhere. We took them up to Big Bear, yeah. put them on a little toboggan, shit them down the hill, shot them right through everybody into the parking lot, into a parked car. Were they hurt? <laughs> no, they weren't hurt. Are you allowed to hang out with your nephew still? I'm on nephew restriction. You're on probation? <laughs> I'm on nephew restriction. <laughs> well, maybe they can say, hey, there's my uncle on TV. I'm Absolutely. on the team again. But all right, well, That's thanks right. for being here, guys. Let's recap the scores. Monique has got 200 bucks. Mark has got go, 200 two, bucks. Hose down your mud flaps. It's time to find out. Wrong. Lock in your choice and a correct guess earns you $200 this round, guys. Plus, there's a bounce cap. You can only be as much this round. Now, when you think your opponent does not know the answer, buzz in and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get $200. If they're right, they get the $200. Just like a radar gun, the dunce cap can catch you on the run. So watch out. So here's the first question I asked to both Maurice and Jacob. Traditionally, what material are toilets made of? Oh my God, you've been dunced, Mark. I'm gonna read the question again. You have five seconds to answer it. You're gonna break the tie here one way or another. If you get it right, you're up 200 bucks. Traditionally, what material are toilets made of? Porcelain. It's a correct oh answer, God. way to go. Throw that yeah. card. You're up to 400 bucks. That's what I'm talking now, about. Now, the task at hand, guys, who blew it up here? Maurice or Jacob blew it? What do you think? Okay, all right. You're both locked in. Uh, you think Maurice blew it, huh, Mark? Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at him. Look at him. All right, let's take a look. Maurice, traditionally, what material are toilets made of? Wood. <laughs> Wood? <laughs> where, where do you live, man? <laughs> okay, you have, a, you have an outhouse? <laughs> a little crescent moon in the window there? That's a wrong right answer. Way to go, Mark. Another 200 bucks here. Good question for you. You're up to 600 bucks. Monique, Jacob got it right. Here's the answer. Oh, yeah, man. Traditionally, what are toilets made of? Porcelain. How did you know that? It's all up here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sorry, you got it right. Oh, I love that guy. Break. 
All right, here's the next question. It goes to Maurice and SD, STD. What British leader is known as the Iron Lady? What British leader is known as the Iron Lady? Who blew it? Someone up there did not know. Is it Maurice or SD blew it? Okay, you guys are both locked in. You guys have a difference of opinion here. You think SD blew it, huh, Mark? Absolutely. Look at her. Okay. Come on. What? She's a oh, cute little girl. Hair. Oh, the hair? Oh, okay, all right. Let's check it out. What British leader is known as the Iron Lady? Statue of Liberty. Statue I, of Liberty? I, I haven't learned that in history yet. <laughs> yeah, she blew that one. Way to go, Mark. Another 20 bucks here takes up to 800. Mark's got a rhyme on it. Oh, Here's man. it. Oh, this is a terrible break. <laughs> what British leader is known as the Iron Lady? Is it Margaret Thatcher? That's who it is, yeah. Oh, okay. You nailed that one. There you go. Out of nowhere, he nails Margaret Thatcher. Sweet. I, I, I watch Benny Hill a lot. So I, I was... <laughs> That's the right answer. Sorry, Monique. And, and by the way, when I show Mark's clip and the person missed it, the other person probably got it right. You're always like shocked. I'm like, what is it? You're like, no! That's the only guy that knows. Okay, here's the last question. You're, right. You're doing great. You're adorable. Last question to Esty and to Jacob. Olympian Jesse Owens is associated with what sport? So what do you think? Who blew that one? Esty or Jacob? Didn't know the answer to that one. Lock in as quickly as you can. All right, and you're both locked in. Wow, you both think Esty blew it. Monique, you don't think she knows? I don't think she has a clue. And Mark, is it the hair again? Or is it just... uh, well, come on, Jacob. Hill? Come on. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's take a Olympian Jesse Owens is associated with what sport? T running? That's right. Yay! Aha, uh -huh, she didn't blow it. Esty knew that one. Ha ha, and you guys, it looks like... Jacob was the one who blew it. So let's recap the scores. Monique, $200. Oh. Got to stall out who blew it. Mark, $800. Oh, yeah. Olympic gold is great, but most of the big haul is better. So stay tuned. Questions are worth $300. Right Pronounce the name of this designer. <laughs> Coco Channel. What is Coco Channel name? Colognes. Colognes? Yes. What do you wear? What kind of cologne are you wearing right now? Oh, really? <laughs> 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 back. Someone's got to haul the sweet hay because it's time to pick your pony. Each of you guys will choose a person in the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. Correct prediction is worth 300 bucks. And the dice got is back. It's worth 300 bucks. You can only use it once. Now, the player who's trying to choose his first, Monique, that's you. So, who would you like to giddy up on? I'm going to ride the pony with Maurice. Ride the pony with Maurice. All right, Mark, how about you? You got the lead. I'm going to ride that girl with funky hair, dude. Going with Esty. OK. All right. And moving on. All right. First question to Maurice for you, Monique. What fictional British spy was introduced in Ian Fleming's novels? What do you think? What fictional British spy was introduced? Do you think maurice has got that right or wrong? I think he's, <laughs> I'm gonna go with wrong because I don't think he could read. Oh! Oh, baby. Oh, let's check it out. <laughs> what fictional British spy was introduced in Ian Fleming's novels? James Bond, double seven. It was, how bad was he? No, you, you, you lost. You said he would get it you wrong. Lost. You got it right. James Bond's right. <laughs> Loser. Okay. Oh, no, Mark. Don't taunt her. Oh, Come on, big guy. Oh, my God. This game is so over. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's your first question to Esty. Spell the word calm as in would you calm down appropriately enough? <laughs> Absolutely. What do you think? Right on, baby. You think she'll get it wrong? Look at that hair. <laughs> right, well. Spell the word calm as in would you calm down? Calm, C A L M. Calm. Oh, you even did it like in a spelling bee. Yeah, spelling bee, you got 99 out of 100. Well, what was the one you missed? Antarctica. You want to try it? Go for it now. A N R. There's a secret, there's a secret, secret. Sorry, no, go sit down. R okay, next question. <laughs> she got it right away to go, Mark. No, no, no. She ran about to up to $1,100. All right, Monique, let's get you back into gear. I asked Maurice, what coffee company trademarked the name Frappuccino? So what do you think? It's easier you at think home. Think Marty's got it right or wrong? <laughs> it's Stop talking, her Mark. He has some sense. I know he's gonna get this right. All right, let's oh, take a look, Trader. <laughs> what coffee company trademarked the name Frappuccino? Uh, Starbucks. It is Starbucks. Now, do you drink the coffee, the Starbucks stuff? Uh, yeah. Does it wire you up? Yes. Show me you on five Frappuccinos. Okay, now six. 
Give me 10 Frappuccinos. Go 10. Give me 10. Give me 20 Frappuccinos. Give me an IV of Frappuccinos. I do it. He got it right. Way to go, Monique. Oh, oh, yeah. Thanks for yeah. the five hundred. You're back in this game. All right, here's your next question to ask you, Mark. Pride, lust, and gluttony are on the list of vices known as the seven blank sins. Think she got that right? Oh, you've been done, Mark. Monique, throw the cap up there. Mark, I'm going to read this again. You got five seconds to answer the question. 300 bucks on the line. Pride, lust, and gluttony are on the list of vices known as the seven blank sins. Deadly. Three seconds. What? <laughs> Deadly sins. He said it. All right, that's a right answer. Be careful with what he said. All right, Mark, way to go. Now, do you think Esty got it right or wrong, Mark? What do you think? Oh, my God. Does it matter? Well, I don't think you tell me. Does it matter? Does it matter? Look at that tongue. I'm going with right. All right, let's see if she got it right. <laughs> Pride, lust, and gluttony are on a list of vices known as the seven blank sins. Seven wonders or C's? Seven wonders. Seven wonders. 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 Ah, that's a wrong answer. I'm sorry, Mark. Seven deadly sins, as you had correctly identified before. All right, Monique, here's your last question of the round to Maurice. I asked him, on what TV show would you hear the phrase, the tribe has spoken? So what do you think? Think Maurice got it right or wrong, Monique? Ooh, Lock it as I'm going to say can. that he got this answer right. He probably watches television. Let's check it out. On what TV show would you hear the phrase, the tribe has spoken. The tribe has spoken. Flintstones? Oh, the Flintstones? <laughs> no, it's that Survivor show. Oh, that's what I was The tribe has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, he got that oh, wrong, terrible. Monique. He didn't know oh, correct answer oh, being Survivor. Oh, All right, Mark, last so question of the round. Wrong. I asked Esty, who is Lil Bow Wow? You think she got that right or wrong? I think she got that right. Think she knows? Let's check it Let's out. Let's check it out. Who is Lil Bow Wow? Lil Bow, a rapper. Do you like the rap? Yeah, you're hip. I'm down with the rap. Yep, yep. <laughs> That's the right yeah, answer. Way to go, Mark. All right, let's recap the scores. Monique, you have $500. Mark's got $1,700. When we return, Monique and Mark will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Maurice, Esty, and Jacob. I showed all three this card, and I asked them, to pronounce this word. Oh. It's the diesel engine of destiny. The exhaust is known as... The wager of... Stay death. tuned! Good night. <laughs> Welcome back. Monique and Mark, here's the dealio. During the break, you both secretly chose a person, predicted if they were right or wrong, and then you made a wager not to exceed your total. Now, Monique, you have 500 bucks right now. Yeah. Mark's got $1,700. All right, here's a question I asked Maurice, Esty, and Jacob. I asked all, actually, I showed all three this card, and I asked them to pronounce this word. So I get your choices right now, Monique. You got 500 bucks, you're trailing, but it's never over till it's over. So whose clip do you want to see? I want to see Esty. You're going to go with Esty. All right, Mark, how about you? You got a big lead there. I am riding my Clyde to death. You're going with Esty also. All right, well, nobody picked Maurice and Jacob. We're going to say bye to those two funny guys, which means there's only one clip left in the show, and it's little old Esty. So let's take a look and see what happens. Esty, pronounce this word. Va vacuum? What's that? What's it's not vacuum, because vacuum has one U. Right. Vacuum. <laughs> All right, that's a wrong answer. The correct answer is vacuum, but she thought only had one U, but... All right, so Monique, you went with Esty. You had 500 bucks there. She got it wrong. What did you say? You said she would get it right. How much did you wager? Your 500 bucks, Monique, you wagered. Ooh. All of it out, push it down to zero. All right, Mark, you also went with Esty. We saw her say vacuum or vacuum or whatever. It was wrong. What did you say she would do? Oh, come on. Look you at her said hair do. she would get it right. No. Oh, you actually thought she would get it right. How much did you wager? You had 1,700 bucks, you wagered. Do the math. 699 takes you down to $1,001. There you go. Mark, you just won a grand in a box. What did we learn today on Street Sparks? Toilets are made of porcelain, not wood. We'll see you next Jacob, pronounce this word. Vacuum. <laughs> Maurice, pronounce this word. Vacuum. There you go.